Hey, how's it going? I'm Chris with PearsonCopy.com, and I'm here to help your brand make more sales with email. Today is a part of my 100 emails in 100, 100 days email breakdown challenge. Um, I'm going over a brand email from Symbiotica. Um, this is a supplement, and I believe this is a part of their welcome series, or at least their first email. Um, that's the context behind this email. So with that being said, I'll go ahead and dive into this uh, into this breakdown. Uh, so we'll start with the subject line here. Um, pretty standard from brands. Uh, thank you for joining the Symbiotica family. Um, the one thing I noticed about this is that it's written out entirely. So I thank you for joining the Symbiotica family. So uh, most brands, they say like, thank you for joining or uh, welcome to brand. And then maybe they put their offer like 15% off in, in, the, in the subject line. Um, I like that Symbiotica does not put the offer in the subject line. Um, it actually leaves that for later. They get their message across first and then they go into the email. So that's something I do like about this email. Um, next, their uh, from name and from email. So they do what most brands do. They stick with just their, their brand name, Symbiotica. And then their email is actually really clean, really simple info at symbiotica.com. Uh, the one thing I think that could improve the from name from email address that I, I just think would work is if they do like a letter from the founder as this first email, uh, because the email is definitely focused on, on, as you can see here with the branding, uh, just what your body needs formulated with modern uh, day research, having a letter from the founder, a letter from maybe the researcher or the scientist or the lab or something uh, from an actual person here would be interesting to see how that does, how that performs against just a um, standard brand email like this. So, um, and also to Symbiotica, maybe a little more difficult to remember how to spell. So having a, a brand name, like a uh, first name here, and then info at symbiotica.com um, might help a little bit in people remembering what this brand is and why they exist. Um, instead of having the actual like value prop in the name of the brand, um, building that relationship between the brand name, the person and what they actually do to help people uh, could be a benefit. So those are just some thoughts about the subject line from from name and from email address. Uh, as we move down the email, um, something Symbiotica does different here is they have their brand. Uh, they actually brand their images because these um, do look like custom images. They put their brand name just at the top of the image and they dive right into the material. They don't have a, a brand logo or anything up top or even like a view this image in browser, um, which is interesting. Um, if you're using a lot of graphic and design, having a view this email in, in your browser uh, link at the top typically helps people with consumption because sometimes email filters uh, block out images or they don't allow them or they send them to promo or spam folder and they never see them. So putting it at the top can help people click into and actually consume your whole email if you do use a lot of design. Uh, if you go with plain text, um, how I like to prefer to do emails for clients, uh, you don't you don't run into that issue very often um, because it's just plain text emails and it's more a direct response approach as it is um, a, instead of like a brand approach, a brand um, design approach. So uh, with that being said, we'll keep moving down. Uh, just what your body needs form, uh, formulated with modern day research. Um, this is a solution, uh, a hint at a solution uh, with a feature, um, with, a, which, with a general feature behind it. Uh, something here, just what your body needs. Um, that I think that's fine. That's a general tagline formulated with modern day research. Uh, this is going to be your feature. I think some more specificity with the modern day research piece could help the copy here. Uh, modern day research compared to what? Um, just what your body needs. Okay, great. That can apply to a lot of people. But what are we trying to do? Improve health, um, reduce pain. Like what, what's what's kind of the, the better feature here that we could be more specific about? Um, I know there are compliance, compliance um, um, you have to follow compliance when it comes to statements, taglines, and claims and things. Um, but I bet you could we could work on this a little bit to make it a little more specific on what that means, like just what your body needs. So um, just some thoughts there. I think otherwise this is a great start. I like their aesthetic. It's clean and simple. Um, they show the pills, they show the or capsules, they show the bottle, they show what it looks like. Um, and then this image itself is a learn more. So that's what I find this interesting because it's a, it's a first welcome email. Um, people signed up, uh, the form actually says, Hey, get your 10% off. And the first thing we do is say, Hey, learn more about our product. Um, I'd imagine if somebody's about ready to buy and they want to get a coupon code and they say, yeah, I'm going to sign up, um, they would know enough that they would buy to try it. Um, but there may be, that may be something Symbiotica is running through is like, Hey, we need to educate our customers on this a little more because when we educate up front on the back end, they, st they stick around longer and spend more and they actually see the benefit later. Um, education is a powerful tool when it comes to selling. It just depends on your product and what your customer needs to actually confidently make the purchase and actually um, stick around to, to buy more later. So um, that's something I thought was interesting here. I, I would test this maybe learn more buy now, shop now, maybe more direct, indirect type CTAs and just maybe AB split this and just see which one gets more clicks. Um, even if it is going to education, be learn more or how this helps you or something like that to, to get them through the education piece. So um, just some thoughts, thought, thoughts there. As we're moving down, uh, just below that image, my PDF um, cut off a little bit there. Um, 
as you move down, we have the copyright below that image. Um, we're so excited that you're joining us in reclaiming your health. Uh, we source the best ingredients from all over the world to create the highest quality plant-based supplements. So as you may have seen in other videos, if you watch some of mine, being more specific is typically the best uh, best way to approach this. Um, we're excited uh, We're excited that you're joining us in reclaiming your health. Okay, reclaiming your health. That's a pretty interesting angle and tagline, or maybe just like, uh, what do you wanna say, mechanism? Um, but what does that actually mean? Uh, reclaiming your health, so distracted, um, maybe your health got away from you because you're busy. Maybe you've got kids. Maybe you're um, traveling all the time. Uh, maybe you've had some health um, issues and concerns, and now you're trying to get back on your feet. Um, the more specific that reclaiming your health could be, um, I think the more you're going to get people to actually connect with it emotionally and mentally and uh, physically, right? Um, next, we source the best ingredients from all over the world to create the highest quality plant-based supplements. So uh, we source the best ingredients from all over the world. What does that actually mean? Um, I bet there's some stories here of like with each individual ingredient that they that they use in their supplement um, or each capsule. Uh, there's a story behind how they sourced it, where they get it from, why they choose that one, who actually gets them those source, those uh, those supplements, or sorry, those ingredients, and what does it what does it actually take to source those, and what they do to actually you know uh, uh, responsibly and ethically source those, that type of story. Um, per ingredients, or maybe just their whole process, the story of their process could help a ton when it comes to people trusting the brand. Um, people are, um, are really paying attention to sourcing as, a, as a at the time of this recording this video, people want to know where's the source from, where it came from, who did it, what are you paying them? They want to know that stuff. So telling that story could be a huge pull in gaining trust uh, from the customer. So that's, a, that's one piece of, the, of copy um, I would add here is just going through that process. Um, the next final piece for this is highest quality plant-based supplements. Highest quality plant-based supplements compared to what? The worst quality? What does highest quality mean? Um, what process do you go, go through to make sure that it's highest quality? Share with me what a low quality supplement is. Um, you, don't have to, you don't have to name names or anything, but you can at least say, okay, what's the mechanism behind the problem here is uh, the problem, the mechanism is you, the, the supplements you're actually taking now or you're considering taking um, are low quality. And this is what that means. This is what you should look for on other supplement bottles. This is um, this is how you should actually shop for supplements instead of how you are doing it now. Um, things like that could help specify and make this a lot more attractive when it comes to selling your product. This is language that is pretty general, pretty um, generic when it comes to it. Um, other brands are saying roughly the same thing. So if you can get more specific, it makes it's one, it separates your brand from others. And also it makes it so the customer actually trust you because you're actually telling them what's on, what's going on behind the scenes, as opposed to hoping that they just don't, they don't really look at it and they go and click the button to buy. So, um, I really like this. Um, begin your journey. Enjoy 10% off your first order using Welcome 10. Uh, the code is simple. It's easy to remember. If I leave this and go back and say, oh, yeah, I have that code, I can remember this. It's really simple and it's really easy to remember. So I really I really appreciate the brand doing this. Um, technically, in the background, um, this Welcome 10 can be used once per customer, and they can use every customer can use the same code, and it doesn't hurt anything. It doesn't cause any issues. So this is why going with a simple code is a lot better than going with like a, a 10, 15, 20 character code that potentially auto applies or does auto apply when they do, do when that when the account or the profile does go to checkout customer goes to checkout but if they go on their phone like let's say they get this email on their, on their computer then they go to their phone then they go to the front house or on a tablet you want them to remember that code so they use it so they, they feel good about buying for that first time uh, cool and then the next cta is count me in uh count me into what um that's the question here is count me into sourcing the best ingredients um highest quality plant-based um reclaiming your health um if you're going to use something like count me in, there's got to be a mission here that they can actually join or something that's uh, something that there, there's a mission or there's an objective that you're trying that they want to join in with you. And I don't think this copy does it enough to make the CTA work. Um, I could be wrong. This could be testing really well and people could be clicking through count me in. Actually, um, it could be working really well. But just based on this, I, I would imagine testing this count me in. Um, it, it is an indirect thing and it is saying, hey, join a mission. But the other thing I would test is maybe go more direct and say, hey, now that you have the code, buy now or shop now or shop our flagship product, which is the one product that like 80% of the people that buy, this is what they buy first, buy this. Um, this is our starter. This is our starter kit. This is our starter product. Um, something more direct here. It's right after the code. And if people already buy, count me in, you're, you might get more click throughs by being more direct here. Um, otherwise, I think uh, this section does uh, does uh, carry its own weight, and I think that it I'd imagine it's getting great click through when it comes to this CTA in this section here. Um, next piece, uh, the power of symbiotica, um, and it talks they talk about the experience power of nutrition while boosting brain function, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, what sets us apart from the rest? Um, I would potentially put this question as the as the headline and say what sets us apart from the rest. Mention this and then say this is the power of symbiotica and go into this stuff into the into the feature benefit here. So, um, just some copy 
tweaking, maybe testing. I think this section does good just on its own, um, but I'm going to go through each section just kind of show what I see and maybe what to potentially test through, uh, maybe to upgrade, add, subtract, etc. Um, I think boosting brain function, supporting immunity, um, those are great specific things that can help so that they definitely get specific here, uh, which is great. Um, there's two pieces here when it comes to superior delivery and bioavailability. One, superior delivery. Uh, liposomal delivery. I've heard of this technology before. Um, I've had a few clients that uh, we did talk through this process. So this liposomal delivery is new enough to where people may have not heard it as a consumer, but when it comes to the industry, when it comes to supplements, this is not something that's relatively new. It's pretty, it's pretty standard and, and, and people are moving toward it when it comes to offering supplements. Um, so, but something that I'm not seeing with brands is actually, actually tying the customer to this delivery system. Like why does it actually matter to them? People aren't taking the time to just to, to actually, explain and attach emotionally what does liposomal lipo, liposomal delivery technology actually mean for the customer um it says provide the highest absorption rate for your body but when it comes to absorption rate i like most people have, don't even know what happens after they swallow their food um they don't know what happens after they swallow a pill or something um this is this is some it's not common knowledge um so taking the time to actually build this out. It may be Symbiotica does this in another email. It's like, Hey, this is liposomal delivery. This is how it works. This is why it matters. This is how to think of it. And this is why you should choose this type of supplement over something that doesn't deliver this way. Um, that type of information, there's a lot that, that can be expanded on and taken out or not taken out, but like, um, um, expanded on when it comes to this technology. So that's the thought I had here is I think this is great that they're mentioning it, but there's a, there's a ton more they could do with this to actually use it as the mechanism behind the solution that helps the, the customer get what they want, right. Um, to get just what their body needs. Right. Um, the next piece bioavailability. Um, this is another common term in the industry, but, um, it is a little more, I would imagine it's a little more understood than when it comes to liposomal delivery. Bioavailability has been been in the market for a little bit, a little longer than the, the delivery technology. So again, something like bioavailability, the common customer typically doesn't understand or doesn't, frankly, doesn't really care what this means or what it does or how it functions for them. But if we explain that and attach their result and what they want, the desire they want to this bioavailability, it's going to make them lean in and say, oh, so this is what I'm looking for when I shop for supplements. Also, Symbiotica is the first one to actually explain this and tell me this is what matters. So I'm going to lean into them and trust them first and maybe even just buy their stuff instead of have to worry about trying to figure out all the science stuff, right? So when it takes, when you take the scientific and they're doing, I think Symbiotica is doing a great job at breaking this down and just saying, Hey, this is layman terms. This is exactly what it means. This is why I think they're doing a good job so far, but I think these two, the superior delivery and the bioavailability section here, you, they could be their own emails and they could be their own objection handlers. Like these two can handle so many different objections when it comes to people saying, this is why I'm not buying. Um, they could do a ton of different emails based off just these two things. So that's something I would consider doing here. I think it's great initially. I think adding and just expanding on these two would do a ton for them when it comes to cl um, um, clicks and sales. So, um, and then the last couple of pieces here, quality ingredients, pure, natural, plant-based. We only source the best. Again, what does the best mean compared to what? Uh, where do you source them? Why do you source from that place? Do you actually take care of the people that, that you buy from? Um, what are you paying them? Um, pure, natural, plant-based. So pure, natural, pure, natural, um, I think have been, um, what do you say, eroded when it comes to terms. Pure, uh, the naturals on anything. There's, uh, I think there's a, a natural word on certain like kid snacks that have a ton of sugar, like fruit snacks have natural on it. Um, those are not natural. Um, and that's just a, an opinion I have. So, um, so actually explaining what quality ingredients means is going to set you apart because nobody's doing it. They're just using, they're just throwing natural and pure in and saying, okay, people have a general understanding of what that means and they trust that. So we're just going to, we're going to, we're going to leverage that, which that's a great thing to do. Um, but when it comes to taking, uh, uh, taking, taking your brand and your copy to the next level, taking pure natural plant-based and, and expanding and making each of those things emotionally resonate when it comes to why the customer should buy it and what it means to uh, their desire and what they're actually going to achieve. It's going to set your brand apart. It's going to set you apart from all the other brands that are selling something similar to what you do. So that's something that I would consider here is expanding on the plant-based pure and natural piece. Um, source the best, again, I already mentioned, what does that mean? Where does it come from? Why, how, who, what, where? But going into detail on this instead of just leaning on we source the best is going to have the customer lean in and trust you more. So, um, and then the CTA, the final CTA is shop best sellers. Um, I think uh, ultimately I would test this and maybe go more direct and try to push towards a flagship product. If the, if Symbiotica did like a letter from the founder, um, the founder would potentially speak about the flagship product of what 80% of the customers usually buy first to start their relationship with this brand and this supplement. Um, and then CTA do that. But with this shop best sellers or 
um, shop our number one supplement or shop our starter supplement, something a little more direct in the sense of, or sorry, more direct, more specific uh, to get people to the, to the site and actually buying um, supplements typically um, aren't easy to shop for because as much as we want to believe that um, we're selling something that's unique, um, there's a, probably a brand or dozens of brands that sell something very similar. So making yourself stand out and different when it comes to these CTAs, how you explain these these mechanisms and solutions and things, and how you actually present your brand matters. It differentiates, differentiates you a ton. So um, overall, those are my thoughts on this breakdown with this email. Symbiotic, I think, does a great job with this first email. Um, I think they're covering all their bases. There are some tweaks and some... Um, some testing I would do with this first email just to see if we can improve metrics. Um, I'd imagine their metrics are doing great so far, but if we want to improve and just increase opens and clicks and sales, there's some ideas. So take these insights back to your brand, uh, take the ones that make sense um, and, and apply them, take the ones that don't make sense and go ahead and put them aside. Um, otherwise, go and check out my other videos um, on my YouTube channel. I do other breakdown emails. Like I said, I'm doing 100 new emails in 100 days um, and go ahead and check those out, get some insights, go make some more money with, with your email for your brand. Um, and in the meantime, I will talk to you later. Thanks.